we are trying to build a 20 people home but i have the finance a budget and in the budget i can fulfill and accommodate only few things so that is where actually uh, kimball uh, uh, kimball uh, has a good success success rate the reason is you can't really accommodate everything at once you will have to start building one by one and when you get more return on investments i mean when i take an example of a home it is not commercial but when you take a commercial example like a five story building a multi story building if you are ready with the first floor you can earn something and then start reinvesting and also that helps you understand more user requirement you have put one elevator but now you see the business is growing it needs two elevators you need a, an exhaust you need a fire exit so this is all once you are into business you will start learning it so this is how we put on the warehouse the first first plan is first thing while building a data warehouse life cycle planning you will have to plan it properly it is not about how you uh, how you execute it execution part is only laborious if you say build a wall that is a uh, uh, three uh, three inches uh, in depth and uh, five feet in height they are going to construct it fine but is that going to meet your requirement is the biggest question right so that is where you uh, the architects come into picture they will have to be the data modelers the architects but uh, also remember one thing you cannot be an architect directly you need to have a lot of information behind the screen so this is one example that i am trying to show you the retail sales uh, bus matrix and as i told you after i have the bus matrix i will try the dimensional uh, modeling dimensional design process it's a four step iterative process it is never going to be one shot that you get everything and then uh, build a uh, build a house you will have to capture the material you will have to capture the requirements one by one and then finalize okay my ward has asked for a swimming pool so i need to uh, find out a space for him somewhere in the backyard that i can build a swimming pool but how big i can build that is the that is the scope of the project so you you will have to define the scope and set up the expectations properly if you say i'm going to fulfill every of your requirement you will be in trouble the project will be over budget and over time so always you will have to come up with a median saying i can do certain things these are the most important things which can be fulfilled and i will have to take an extra care while building this i hear some kind of a noise from one of you guys uh, i think it is shauri i'm going to mute you sorry after i muted shauri i also see voice from someone else so but anyhow i'm not going to mute now uh, every one of you uh, the reason is you are all professional you are, have already worked uh, on more than one project at least so you know uh, i mean you are not kids you are all mature people so you know how to take care of things so i'm not muting any one of you you take care of it yourself so this is a bus matrix as i told dimensional modeling is not a one step process you'll have to understand the business process you'll have to declare a grain you'll have to come up with the dimensions and facts so while declaring the grain that is the most important thing so grain declaration is are we going to try to uh, fulfill the kids requirement or the adults requirement so you declare the grain because kids will come up with fancy requirement so if you try to build the all entire things for the kid a play area a beautiful landscaping environment where he can uh, uh, play some cricket and uh, for for your teen he want an uh, karaoke room along with a uh, along with a dancing deck and for your adult he want a sauna he want a bath tub everything so you have to determine and say set up an expectation the warehouse can answer to only this level i cannot go to a detail of having your own private uh, swimming pool and a fitness center instead there is a fitness center next door why don't you use that instead of building ourselves why don't we start using the fitness center next door so that it is easy uh, on the budget side so you will have to uh, think about all these things while while you build a, a data warehouse so various different different industries so i am trying to show you and uh, now when i speak to five people they came up with this requirement but you are not only the humans uh, uh, 
with all the requirements, right? If I go to a different industry, different set of users, then they'll have their own set of requirements. So I'm trying to show you a telecom bus matrix. In a telecom bus matrix, it can be different. They are more about rate plan, sales channel, service line, switch, vendor, and they have to see uh, their channel of sales, items that they'll have to repair, their distribution, their inventory, things like that. This is for more like a telecom, uh, telecom bus matrix. How you identify and what are the major dimensions and uh, and fact tables that can come up in a telecom bus, a uh, uh, telecom uh, project. This, this is how their bus matrix looks like. And the order management. Order management itself is a separate entity in uh, in the business. How do you manage the orders? When you get when you make a quotation, you got an order and you are trying to ship it and how to invoice it. Everything is a process. So there you see, like you have four common dimensions. You have date, product, customer, deal, sales rep. This is all, you, uh, and the shipping form and shipper is actually meant only for shipments and invoicing, but they are not the common things for the quotations and orders. So you will have to make sure that you fulfill the four requirements first before going uh, to anything else. So a confirmed dimension is nothing else than if you look at the board, the requirements when we have read out, Sri Devi told like she agreed with Hilal that she wanted two storied building with bedroom in the first floor and the kitchen in the lower floor. And she came up with a small thing in behind saying, I want more cabinets. That is exactly the data warehouse. That is exactly the common dimension in the data warehouse. So you both are aligned there. You want the same thing. So I identified that I can build something in common for them to satisfy two or, two or more users. That becomes my high priority. When I have a high priority thing, I make it as a Confirm a dimension because more than one fact table. Here I assume uh, Sri Devi has some of his requ her requirements and Hilal has some of their requirements. Something came up in between the intersection of both. So that is a confirmed dimension. I confirmly I'll have to go with two floors. Uh, first floor only the bedrooms and the ground floor has a kitchen and a hallway and everything. So do you, do you understand? Uh, in a generic scenario, how do you plan for implementing data warehouse? Because we are not going to spend too much of time on data warehouse. That is not the entire concept. I'll go beyond. Any questions so far, guys? No voice. Are we on call? Perfect. So this is only the data warehouse life cycle. I am try. I I try to keep it very short. The reason I am trying to keep it short is you are not going to be the architects. More like you are going to be the developers. So we'll concentrate more on the development part using our data services, things like that. We'll concentrate more on that. So you will have to plan your data warehouse properly. That you identified all the common dimensions or confirmed dimensions and some facts depending on your requirements so it is more of you talk to your user and certify this is all what i want and finally it, it matters about what the report you generate right so we thought about it why are we building all this user want a query and finally put out a, a nice report saying this is the total uh, sales this month and uh, this is the profit i earned and this is my investment everything in one uh, one single page so you'll have to use a data warehouse approach to get that kind of an answer here ends this uh, this this show, but uh, let me take up something else for you. Ooh. Hey, do you guys still see me? Guys, do you what happened? Okay, I'm going to just uh, shut off the uh, webcam here because it's now the presentation is going to be more on um, on uh, the PPT. So, and board the architecture. First, we'll have to see more about data services and board the architecture. So, we'll go to that. But first, let us uh, understand that uh, our BODS is not just an ETL tool. It is more than an ETL tool. So 
we'll we'll i mean few people already uh, saw this i mean few parts you already saw it uh, okay here is the presentation so first first let us talk a little bit about uh, about now you have your data warehouse guys you have captured the requirements you have built uh, you are trying to build a home now comes the uh, the actual uh, reality as a developer or a, as a business architect or a business analyst everything comes into picture now by that what i mean is here is what it is do we need to use an etl tool to build our data warehouse cannot we build it ourselves do i really require an etl tool is the first question did you ever think about it even without a tool you can build a data warehouse it is more like even without an account manager even without a, a producer even without uh, an stenographer you can still run a business you can you can uh, still produce a movie you can do n number of business in that way i mean what i mean to say is you can do everything by yourself if you are doing if you are moving from your apartment to the next door you don't need a truck all you are trying to do is take individual items and then put it back into your home that is possible right but why we go with the tools why are we hiring a truck why are we getting a dolly why are we wrapping it up in a nice um, uh, the uh, uh, thermocol sheet so data fragile i mean the item is fragile so you will have to cover it properly so when you wanted to move all these items you will have to make a plan you cannot fill your hallway and leave the bedroom the side so first you will have to fill your bedrooms before touching the hall so you will have to plan properly so not only think about moving the data from here to uh, here first plan about the data warehouse that is where is the important picture so now we are not only trying to move things not only trying to move data from one place to another place let us talk about a high picture of a data warehouse at a very high level what is a data warehouse all we are trying to do is build a uh, build an uh, single family home with five bedrooms and uh, one fa uh, one uh, uh, living room that's all we are trying to do one fact table surrounded by five fact five dimension tables is my data warehouse so while building this home single family home you have to make sure you have a high end picture the architecture of it now you have the data model lying there you have identified your common dimensions you have identified the facts and you have the data model ready then what you will have to do you will have to see on which database you have to build you will have to choose the tools you will have to choose like a plot for building your data warehouse right so like building your home you will have to choose a plot what the plot is now you have identified all the requirements so you are expecting that you need a 200 or 500 square yard uh, uh, place to build the apartment uh, to build your single family home sorry when you wanted to do that you are going to design saying the backyard will be of this size saying you have the a small swimming pool if not the swimming pool at least a small tub for the kids and someone wants a parking lot in front so i have the parking lot and the the, the kitchen has to be of this size it, it should have so and so things in the kitchen so you'll plan accordingly right in the same way you are now talking about a database in in the technical terms first you'll have to think about which database you're going to use so definitely based on the volume of the data how you build a home is uh, based on the volume of people that are going to live in it so in the same way based on the volume of data you'll identify whether you wanted to build it the, the oracle data warehouse or you wanted to go for some other powerful databases like uh, even sophisticated even uh, even which can handle high volumes of data like teradata so that is where you will have to determine fine you have determined what database you want and you are there after you did you identified your database what you'll have to do you'll have to lay out a plan saying what is the foundation how many feet i'll have to dig in and then build the foundation and how strong the the pillar should be because we'll have to identify how many floors we are going to build based on that your pillar strength must be there and after that 
you will have to find out each material saying which steel do I want to use. Do I want to use Tata steel or Vizac steel? Do I want it to get the cement from Nagarjuna industry or do I need to get cement from somewhere else? You will have to also explore what bricks I want to use. How big the wall should be. What is the height? Someone asked about that they want 